Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is something that uh, people have been asking me to make for a while now. Uh, it's about Town Hall 9 low-level hero attacks, and just a disclaimer real quick, as you can see, these are not Town Hall 9 low-level hero attacks in the background. In Genesis, we don't have many uh, 9s that have low-level heroes, and uh, all the recent wars... Um, the regular wars don't have any of the arranged war action with uh, the CWL with One Hive, but all the recent wars didn't have very good low-level low Town Hall 9 bases, so all the low Town Hall 9s were taken on pretty uh, bad bases, which is why you're seeing some attacks on the higher bases, which were a little bit better in design, uh, but that because of that, you are seeing our, our upper-level Town Hall 9s with mostly level 30, 25-ish heroes. Um, so you're not going to see that many examples, but um, you've seen them in the past, you've seen them on the channel here and there, and uh, hopefully I can kind of just talk through um, and have these attacks in the background for you to watch just because they are still Town Hall 9 attacks, just don't quite apply as much. But basically I'm going to talk kind of in general, then I'm going to talk specifically about certain attack strategies, how you want to adjust, what you want to avoid, uh, stuff like that when you have low level heroes. And when you're trying to define low level heroes, it can really be... Um, a lot of different things depends on how you define it for different people. Uh, I'd say under 15 is pretty low for Town Hall 9. Other people would say, no, that's under 10. Um, it depends kind of what clash universe you come from. But for me, under 15, you're considered low-level heroes. And uh, if you're right at 15, you know, some of these still apply to you. Even if you're a level 20 hero guy uh, with level 20 king, level 20 queen, some of these do still apply because it's a gradient. It kind of, um, there's no like set lines where it's like, okay, now you can start using this. It's a gradual progression. So that being said, uh, let's just get right into it. Talking in general terms first, um, if you're a Town Hall 9 with lower level heroes, you want to hit a lower level base. So um, sometimes you're going to find yourself having to hit a max defense base. But other times, um, if, especially if you have like level 10, 10 heroes, it would be weird for your, you to attack a max base. Um, I'm not saying it won't happen, but typically um, it'll be a little bit easier, a little bit more balanced out because you'll be hitting a, a base that might have a few Town Hall 8 level uh, defenses and uh, lower level defensive heroes, which aren't that big of a deal, but can make a difference. Um, so that should be the case typically. But in general, the one thing that I'd say is the biggest, most important uh, concept to keep in mind is bring a smaller kill squad. Uh, very, very important uh, to bring a smaller kill squad because really the kill squad is almost an extension of your heroes in most cases. Especially on attacks where you have hogs or loons on the other end, your kill squad is really just going to get in there, get a certain chunk of the base taken out, then uh, use the other part of the attack, whether it's hogs, whether it's balloons, even dragons, uh, to take out the rest of the base. And oftentimes they're bringing golems. The golems are just usually to buy time for your kill squad, for whatever your damage is. And if you have a you know a level 10 queen, level 10 king, that's a lot less damage. So bringing one golem to tank, your, your heroes will get a lot less done in the in the time that one golem buys, that if you have a level 30, 30 heroes, your heroes will be able to do a lot more in the amount of time that one golem buys for them. So keep that in mind. You want to have a smaller kill squad if you have uh, lower level heroes. It wouldn't make sense to bring three golems in just your heroes. Uh, one thing you can do to even it out is bring a few wizards behind. If you look at a base and say, hey, I still want to bring a, build, a big kill squad, there's still a lot of value to be gotten from a kill squad. You want to still get deep in the base. Um, you want to bring a few wizards to back up your kill sp squad, especially after the update. You now have the buffed level 6 wizards, so drop 2 or 3 of them behind your king and your queen. If your golems are tanking well and your king's tanking well, uh, you should be able to get some pretty good value, help take out the CC troops, take out just buildings, add some damage behind your heroes, because they do do quite a bit of damage, those level 6 wizards. Um, also, you can just bring other DPS, a few Valks. Um, sometimes you can bring bowlers. I'm going to talk a little bit about bowlers in just a second because you've got to be a little bit careful when you have low-level heroes about bringing bowlers. But um, in general, yeah, just bring some more DPS if it's necessary. But you should typically try to bring a smaller kill squad. Um, I'll get into specifics in just a moment. But that basically means bringing more defensive targeting troops, whether it's balloons, whether it's hogs. Just doing a bigger hybrid part of your attack with the non-hero part of the hybrid, if that makes sense. So less less stuff going in with your heroes. Try to bite off a smaller chunk of the base with them and use other troops to take out more. So let's get a little specific because that might have been hard to understand uh, without examples. Let's talk about hogs for a second. Um, you don't want to do like a stoned 
uh, hobo attack, really, with low-level heroes. And I know that's a very popular attack strategy, so some people might be wondering why is that. Basically, a few things. First of all, when you have a, you don't want to bring a lot of golems when you have low-level heroes. I'd say one, two golems max, especially if they're in the 10-10, uh, that range. Bring one, maybe two golems, but typically one or even no golems. The reason for that is, like I said, golems are going to buy time for your heroes, and you don't want to waste a lot of troop space buying time for low-level heroes. They won't get much done in that time anyway. Um, I'd recommend if you're bringing a hog attack, if you want to use hogs on part of the base, either do a mass hog. That means, you know, you think, okay, I can take out the queen, the CC troops, maybe one possible double giant bomb spot, if that, because double giant bombs have been nerfed quite a bit. Um, if you use your heals right, you don't need to take out any, but you're going to get in there, get the essentials like the queen and the CC troops, maybe for just a very, very small kill squad, then use your hogs on the rest, because your hogs are the same level as a max town hall nine. Uh, you should use what's strong for you. If you have max hogs, Try to use those instead of your low-level heroes and bringing a lot to help your heroes. Use more hogs, more heal spells, and invest less spells in your in your heroes like rages and stuff like that because it's adding less to the equation. I would say if you want to use a big kill squad for hogs, bring Valks because Valks, um, and even more so than bowlers, because Valks will get in there and do the job of your heroes. They'll trigger stuff, they'll kill the defensive queen, which is really important. That's the one thing bowlers will have trouble doing. Bowlers are not good assassins for the heroes. Valks are much better because they're quick, they run right up and take out the hero quickly. The bowlers kind of move slowly, they have a, th a slow throwing motion, they don't have as many uh, hit points. They're not as good at taking out heroes, they also sit back more, so they're not going to run up and engage the heroes, it's not as likely that'll happen. So try to avoid bringing bowlers if it's just bowlers and your heroes. Um, maybe if you're bringing a few wizards or a few Valks to help out as well, especially if you're going in there deep to get some heroes, you're going to need those Valks. So Valks are a great troop to use if you have low-level heroes. You can bring a group of like, you know, 8, 10, 12 of them if you want to bite off a big chunk of the base and only use a few hogs on certain parts. Or you can bring like 6, 7, maybe even 8 of those, a little smaller of a kill squad and use a little more hogs. But Valks are a great troop to use if you have low-level heroes. Um... Okay, I think that pretty much covers it. Like I said, be careful with bowlers because they're not good hero assassins. And if you want something to get in there deep, if you're going from the opposite side of the base and take out the defensive queen, if your king's only level 10, it's unlikely he'll get the job done. And in that case, the bowlers probably won't. Your queen probably won't because she sits back so much. you got to think what will get in there and take out the queen. Oftentimes, your best option is Valks if you have a low-level king. Um, so yeah, that pretty much covered that for air attacks. Look if, to see if you can find a base that will only need you to take out one air defense. Maybe you can zap Quake another, use the Skelly spell on another one. You, you know, sometimes you can drop down the Skeleton spell directly on an air defense and take it out, which is a very cheap, efficient way to do it. Look for those kind of situations. Don't look for a base where you have to go in deep and get the Queen and two air defenses, because if you have to bring a big kill squad, especially on an air attack, you're much more limited in the amount of troop space you can bring in your kill squad. Uh, it's unlikely you'll get, you'll get the job done if you have to get really deep into a max base. So try to look for a base where you can only go in, get maybe the queen, one air defense, and really focus your troop space and spells on the stuff that is maxed out, which will hopefully be your lava hounds, your balloons, uh, maybe your rage spells, stuff like that. Because, like I said, focus your stuff on what's maxed, and at Town Hall 9, you can get those balloons and lava hounds maxed out real quick, and that'll be more, uh, more effective for you to use... Uh, a smaller kill squad in a larger air part of the attack. Um, queen walk, a quick kind of few few uh, comments on that because it is part of having a low-level queen. You have to think about whether or not you can do a queen walk. I'd say be very careful if you have an under 15 queen. Once your queen gets to 15, you can start doing queen walks. Now still much smaller because she's going to move a lot slower. Uh, it's going to take up more time. you got to be careful in that sense. And... Um, also, she's going to, uh, you know, die quicker. She won't lose health quicker, but she has less tolerance. Uh, her health will get to half and possibly down to zero much quicker um, under defenses. So she can't, you know, go for that long without a rage or the ability. So keep those things in mind. Keep the amount of time in mind. And remember, if you're bringing four healers for her, you're getting less value if your queen's not doing as much while those healers are on her. So I'd really consider... Um, bringing uh you know a kill squad rather than a queen walk uh, at town hall nine if you have low level heroes really be you know keep that limited only if there's a, a really good opportunity to do something with your queen uh, would you want to do a queen walk if you have low level heroes 
um, your queen, obviously. The king doesn't matter for a queen walk, so... Uh, yeah, let's just keep moving. Um, I want to talk a little bit about some variety compositions that you see. One thing uh, that's common is the uh, baby dragon where you do a queen walk deep into the base. Really, that should be 25, uh, 25 to 30 level queen. You shouldn't be doing it with anything under 25. Maybe in the low 20s, you could argue. But that attack, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Where you go in there, you take out like three, even all four of the air defenses with your queen. Sometimes you do earthquakes to open up the base for her. Let her just walk in. I would stay away from that if you're a low-level Town Hall 9. Uh, your queen's not going to get as much value. And she's going to take so much time, it might not be worth it. You'll probably run out of time. Um, there's that one attack, I think it's called HBVP, uh, where you bring like four rages, uh, Pekkas, Valks, healers and bowlers just a bunch of dps you guys have seen it a ton on the channel uh, that we've been using in genesis a lot that strategy can work i think because there's so much damage other than your heroes now you're going to have to do probably a um, abbreviated queen walk because oftentimes you start off with the queen walk on that attack and then um this is actually an example right here that you're seeing sort of it doesn't yeah, this is an example of the attack. It brings a jump, but same concept. Uh, for this attack that you're seeing right now with these troops, uh, you want to do an abbreviated queen walk. So the queen walk on this attack was probably about as long as you want to make it. Uh, you can still do it and get value because those healers will peel off onto your regular troops. So it's not like you're bringing those four healers just for your queen. They'll also get value doing other stuff once they run up to the Valks like they did here. Um, now in this case, he does have level 30, 30 heroes, but that's beside the point. Um, so this can work, you know, you can do this attack strategy just because there's so many other sources of DPS like the P.E.K.K.A.s, the Bowlers, the Valks, that it doesn't matter that your heroes aren't quite as high level. You can still overpower a base. Um, might not work quite as well because you don't have the bonus of your heroes uh, doing some extra damage, but it's the same with every attack. I use it, it, you know, it always helps to have higher level heroes, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. Any other strategies uh, I want to talk about? I think, I think that pretty much covers it. The main strategy you can leave a comment um, but just to summarize real quick the main points if you have low level heroes bottom line is you should look to do go vaho attacks those are a good composition uh, like a cold-blooded La Luna, I think is what, it, what it's called when you only bring one golem. So small kill squad La Luna attacks where you focus on bringing a lot of balloons, a lot of lava hounds, not a big kill squad. Um, and then maybe some of this H, uh, what is this, HBVP attacks. Uh, and, you know, it ultimately depends on what the base calls for, but look to attack a base where you can use those certain strategies and uh, best, you know, utilize the tips I talked about because ultimately you kind of have a choice what base you attack and uh, certain bases are better for certain low-level hero attackers. Um, but yeah, bottom line, small kill squad usually and uh, save the troops, the spells for what you have maxed out, which will typically be your hogs, your valks, your balloons, your lava hounds, that kind of stuff. So I think I covered everything. Hope you guys liked the video. Let me know if it helped in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer any questions you guys have. But I wanted to make this video just so you low-level Town Hall 9 heroes have it, or low, low level Town Hall 9 accounts with low-level heroes, whatever. So you guys have it uh, to use if you're wondering what attacks to use in war, because I haven't made a video like this in the past. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.